Yo, what is up boys? How's it going? And welcome back to another stream slash video. Today we're reacting to Gigux, a manga about being stepped on. I don't even... What am I getting myself into? Let's see. Alright guys, hear me out. Slavery is bad. <laughs> That's a good start to the video. <laughs> super random, super random chat. This title just reminded me of something I saw on Twitter like two seconds ago. Reminder that Tarantino wrote a scene in Dusk Till Dawn where S Salma Hayek pours tequila down her leg and forces a guy to drink it by sucking on her toes and then cast himself in that role. That ends. <laughs> this dude's fucked up. Anyway, that was, that, was so, that was on the top of my head when I saw this, uh, that title. But I'm constantly on a journey to find the next great anime, the next great manga, and nowadays we are spoilt for choice. Recently, I just finished Vinland Saga Season 2, which is a masterpiece that- Are we spoiled for choice? I feel like there's like 50 anime that come out every season, and like two and a half are decent. Took me to my core. A human story so powerful, it can not only give you a great experience, it can change your outlook on life. It shows like these that reminds me why I love the medium so much. But on this never ending journey, some days I wake up and I remember, wait a minute, I'm a degenerate. <laughs> Because what if I've told you that I've discovered a high intensity shonen action manga with amazing art about being a slave to an army of insane anime girls in military uniforms that can kick your ass and will find any way, shape or form to sit in your face every other chapter. Now I know what you're going to say. Giga, God damn it. What do you think I am? Some weird perverted freak? Can you please stop trying to get me into your weird hentai fetish shit? So what's the name of the manga again? Point is Link, there source, source, asking for a friend. Link, please. At times, I want to remind people that I'm always striving to find the next anime or manga masterpiece and prove to the world that I'm still a functional member of society. Then I remember that I play Honkai Star Rail. Hi, I'm Giguk. And just in case you needed a monthly reminder that I'm still a piece of garbage, here's a manga about being stepped on by hot anime girls. Before we get stepped on by Degeneracy, why don't we step on over to today's sponsor, PUBG Mobile. Oh, PUBG, PUBG Mo Mobile is actually sick. I play that. <laughs> Alright, I'm skipping ahead though. What the fuck is going on here? There we go. Your eyebrows at me, I just want to say, I did not go out looking for a manga like this. This manga just happened to find me. Your Honor. See, sure. I was just innocently browsing my local manga store when a manga cover caught my eye of a military-clad, smug anime girl looking down at me, emanating the purest step-on-me energy man could ask for with a single massive word plastered behind her. Slave. And my brain went, huh. Uh Matosei here no slave, or chain soldier, asks a simple philosophical question to all the guys in the world. Would you sell your dignity to be stepped on by a group of hot anime girls? Yes. In the manga's fictional apocalyptic year of 2020, a dangerous <laughs> dimension called Mato merges all over Japan, bringing with them monsters that terrorize the world and cause various disasters. Fortunately, with these monsters have come a new tool humanity can use to combat them. Peaches. A mysterious resource that can give humans supernatural powers they can wield, but Dude, grant only in manga. What the fuck is going on right now? These abilities to women and only women, causing a male female power balance to be completely flipped on his head. Men are now at the lower end of the social hierarchy, and Andrew Tate has become Andrew Cake. Enter Yuki <laughs> Wakuda, a uh, <coughs> male, who's one day just minding his own business when he suddenly finds himself in a life or death situation in the Mato realm. Oh no, facing this is so sad. I'm out of G Fuel. I lied, now I'm out of G Fuel. ...off against an army of monsters. Thankfully, humanity has created a specialized combat squad of super-powered peach girls called the Anti-Demon Corps, and the commander of the 7th unit sweeps in just in time to save the day. This is Kyoka Uzen, who has the ability to make slaves, which I know sounds pretty bad, but... So anyway, she offers him the opportunity to submit to her, which allows him to activate his ultimate ability, slavery. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? God. Transforming him to the super powerful combat form that can Chad, decimate. I'm such a gamer. I don't. Why is my controller sitting on my lap this entire time? It's like I'm fucking ready to, to shit on nerds at any moment. What am I doing? I'm doing a reaction video. 
the monster army. This gives him the chance to be the hero he always wanted to be, but unfortunately, men can't technically join the anti-demon corps. But it's okay because they found a little loophole. He joins the seventh unit and moves into the pronouns are now all female <laughs> residents to the dismay of all the girls that live there, and has to prove his worth by becoming their caretaker, being a stay-at-home dad, doing the housework, and cooking up a mean way meal. Way of the hell's husband. <laughs> In the kitchen. It's also, by the way, the Yakuza one where the hell's husband is so funny. I, I know it looks like a fucking comic book that you're watching when it's an anime, <laughs> but I love it. It's so funny. That secret ingredient. Ooh And what's that? Come. Okay, I know that description makes it sound like it's some weird harem etchy shit, but hear me out. Hear me out. It's some weird harem etchy shit, and you should watch it anyway. Wait for it. Out. It's good weird harem edgy shit. This is a manga written Man, by the I same see guy. His jokes coming from a mile away these days. Who did? Oh. Oh no. But okay, regardless of your opinions of Akami Go Kill, and God knows I have my opinions, I think there's one thing we can all come together to agree on. As death was bloody hot. That's true. true. So imagine a calm get killed, but every girl is a different flavor of S death and replace all the edgy violence and character deaths with S tier horny. That's Mato Sehe no Slave. It's been a long time since I've enjoyed an edgy series this much, and yes, there is more that goes into a good edgy series than just slapping some sexy anime girls in your face and calling what? it a day. Just because you appreciate anime titties doesn't mean you can't do it with a little bit of class. I may be a degenerate. But I'm a degenerate with standards. I'm not one to watch a show with nothing but fan service and etchy scenes as a selling point. Maybe that would have worked when I was a dumbass 14 year old kid, but motherfucker, there's this thing called hentai. It's like etchy, but without the blue ball in it. And it's art. If I'm gonna watch a show, there needs to be another hook. Nice action, an interesting world, a compelling romance, plot. But another equally important thing is how you implement the fan service in your show. Alright chat, favorite etchy anime. Let's see. Let's go. Obviously, No Game No Life is actually a decent anime, and it has a bunch of etchy in it. But I think the etchy actually takes away from the show for the most part. There's High School of the Dead. There's um, Interspecies Reviewers is pretty good. Prison School is pretty good. I think I'm forgetting something. Food Wars is probably my number one. There we go. You can't just show me thick anime thighs and expect... Me too. Sorry, I got distracted. What, you can't just show me thick source, anime thighs and source. expect me to be impressed. And one thing I absolutely despise is when the fan service Link, gets in please. the way of the action. Nothing quite kills an action scene faster than when you're fully invested in a fight. It's exciting. You're into it. Your heart is pounding. The next big punch is about to be thrown. Then the series goes, all right, pause for a second. Anime titties. All right, I'm back to the action. If you're gonna put a bit of fan service in your show, keep it separate, or in the best case, work with it. Fan service should be the spice on your dish. And you know, I'm a good boy from Thailand. I don't just like a little bit of spice in my food. I love a lot of spice. But that doesn't mean I just want to eat a plate full of Carolina Reapers, nor would I appreciate you squirting a bottle of chili sauce on my dish when that dish is a nice cool vanilla ice cream. But luckily, Mato Sehe no Slave knows exactly how and when to spice yeah, up his dish. See, the twist to Kyoko's powers is that after every battle, she needs to give a... <clears throat> reward to a slave that's proportional to the NG they just exerted while she activated her power with her completely losing control of her body and her body fully willing her actions until the reward has been completely played out and let's just say these rewards do my Southeast Asian heritage proud. Mamma mia, that's a spicy. What this means is that the degeneracy never gets in the way of the action. In fact, they work together to enhance one another because the fan service you get scales with the action that precedes it. There are some chapters that give you just a quick and casual brawl that rewards you with just a little tease, just a little tickling of the balls. But it's when you get the epic, multi-chapter, arc-ending fights. There's the anticipation that as a reader, you know that once the battle is over, there is an equally epic, high-intensity, full-on degenerate etchy scene from the gods waiting for you ladies and gentlemen i present to you pavlovian degeneracy i'm of the firm <laughs> belief that if you're going to go down the degenerate route just oh, fully commit me. you think i how is it that giga could sell anything he genuinely can like why am i going to read this seasoned anime viewer i'm impressed i know the it's going to be trash but I, 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 he sold it though dense protagonist accidentally walk into the girl's changing room. Oh no, fuck a hentai. No, and thankfully this series pulls no punches in either its action or its culture. According to the law, each reward Yuki is given is based on his subconscious desires. And thankfully for the readers, our boy must be the average Genshin Impact player because he ain't just bricked up, he's the entire fucking wall. Starting things off with just a vanilla makeout sesh, as the series goes on, the rewards get more and more spicy like he's cycling through the entire library of hentai tags. <laughs> Not a fan of the main girl? No worries. The series introduces a literal army of dummy mummies, semen demons, waifus with weaponized thickness. And here, come here. 
Let me give you a little bit of a spoiler. Kyoko can lend her pals out to other girls. You know what that means. I have. Come. But this goes into the one thing Mato Seihei does that separates it from every other generic ecchi series. It has plot. I'm not gonna lie and say that fan service isn't one of the main selling points here, but that doesn't mean there's not more going for it as well. For one, the action is actually pretty kick-ass that goes beyond, I'm gonna defeat you with the power of friendship and titties. Each girl's unique ability brings more dimension to the action than just, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna punch you, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna punch you really hard. All the fights have their own thoughts and tactics put into them based on the powers that are present on the playing field. There's a girl who literally just has Zod World or that she activates by doing a fucking Jojo pose. Another girl has an ability called Python, where she has to pre pro Someone say JoJo's? Okay, I'm in. Program her body movements like a goddamn software engineer. There's a MILF! Alright, this is kind of cool. The abilities are actually kind of cool. Especially the MILF one. What? Who said that? I can't remember what her pals are. And a similar <laughs> level of thought has been put into the characters and the general world around them. With a concept like this, it would have been easy just to slap a bunch of cardboard cutout waifus everywhere and throw in some nonsensical, wacky plots whose only job is to get from one etchy scene to the next. But each girl has their own backstory and motivation that drives the plot forward. And we actually see development with some of them more than just the amount of ways they can sit on the protagonist's face. We learn more about the social structure and dynamics of the monsters and the anti-demon core that fight them. Inter-family drama, power scale, Feelings, power rankings, tournament arcs. I'm gonna be real. This story isn't gonna be winning awards anytime soon, but it does everything it needs to. It does just enough to tickle that part of your brain that wants to grab the popcorn and dumb out to your typical shonen action show. When you talk to a lot of anime fans and the topic of guilty pleasures come up, you hear a lot of the same titles getting thrown around. High School of the Dead, High School DxD. I've not talked to a single person that have watched these shows fully and don't talk about them fondly. They know what their appeal is. They know the target audience they're aiming for. And if you're not in- Loki, I High School DxD has some like banger fights to these types of shows, they're not going to be changing anyone's opinion. But if you do fall in that target demographic, if you're Please. fine fully embracing the sleeping degenerate in you, then this is like eating McDonald's cooked by a three-star Michelin chef. Don't lie, these aren't guilty pleasures. These are pleasures you feel no guilt enjoying. They not only fully commit to giving you the peak gourmet fan service you've been craving, but respect you enough to know that you still need more reasons to keep watching once you hit post-nut clarity. You've come. That is Mato Seihei no Slave. It knows what it is, and it devotes itself to being damn near the best product it can be for what it's trying to achieve. So if you want a manga that does one thing and one thing really well, and that one thing is being stepped on by powerful, sexy, military-clad anime girls with the added bonus of a decent enough plots, characters, and actually pretty damn good action, then Mato Seihei no Slave is the manga for you. In conclusion... It should have been me, not him! Well, boys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little reaction. I'm literally just waking up having my morning G Fuel. Figured I'd react to something real quick before going live. I'm trying to do some daily content, both long form and short form. On Kick, we're doing some reactions to the live action One Piece and etc. Um, and maybe I'll react to this on Kick as well, give it a little read. And all my full reactions, unedited, go on Patreon because YouTube's a bitch. And I can't do that. So, I'll see you on the next one, alright? Bye, guys.